Uh, hi, everyone. Um, this is going to be a very quick run through uh, of this presentation because it was originally a, a 15 minute one. I got asked to do it as a PICO. Um, I'm hoping the slides are going to move on automatically after 20 seconds each. Otherwise, I have the habit of talking for a very long time. So if the slides don't move on to guide me, I might keep talking. There we go. Right, the challenge. Um, Gloucestershire has been using uh, their student record system for uh, management of assessment for about the last five or six years. And students were submitting files on there. Um, any other assessment basically was done manually. And about two and a half years ago, when I arrived at university, they had a list from staff of about 100 developments that they wanted done to the CMA system. And I took one look at this and said, well, Moodle will do about 80 or 90 of those out of the box. So why aren't we using Moodle for the front end of this and then just using uh, student records for the end of it? So this is what I arrived at. Basically, they were using Moodle for uh, learning and teaching. We had all these extra facilities, not all of them being used, but quizzes were, group assignments, um, file submissions were going direct into student records, but all of the administrative stuff, like dates, um, uh, suspected breach, was all being done by student records. So the solution was we would integrate the two, and we'd make Moodle do everything as the front end to save staff and students going into multiple systems, and the student record system would be used for the records. It's the admin tool, so use it for the admin, but use Moodle as the front end for the learning, the teaching, and the assessments. The question then was, how do we integrate the, the two together? And the first step for that was to recognize the bits that we already were and where the sources of the data were coming from. So um, courses and modules were coming from student records. So were the enrollments onto those. Validated course details, things like that, were all coming from student records already. Um, whereas the assignment brief, the due dates, quizzes, the date the students actually submit, the core data for those would eventually come from Moodle because that's where the student was submitting it to. So uh, the asterisks are the ones we were already passing, or the stars, the ones we were already passing to Moodle anyway to create courses and modules to put the staff and students on them. And the validated course details has a different color star because that was in development. We had a parallel development to put uh, module guides online and automate them at the same time. So the tacky bit, we have a data warehouse sitting in the middle. Um, we use MySQL for Moodle, uh, Microsoft SQL for the student records. We have a data warehouse sitting in the middle of it that's also used for reporting. So we had scheduled tasks. And that was our easiest way to create database writing and a Moodle APIs um, to do everything we wanted to do. Um, an assessment setting scheduled task where we decided these were summative assessments. We wanted a specific set of settings, so we'd go with those. Assessment dates were to be passed from the core, uh, from Moodle back into. Um, and we did it by creating a link code. That link code represented the module, the semester, um, and the academic year, and which assessment it was, number one, number two. And that could be pasted into any assessable activity. Assignments, quizzes, forums, blogs, anything that could be assessed can have that ID number put in. And then we rolled it out. Pilot first, um, we started off with some staff just using Moodle because they were familiar with it from other institutions or from their formative assignments, and you transfer the grades all, uh, manually, but then rolling it out to a small group and then on to everybody else. And uh, some of my colleagues, one of whom is sat somewhere in the back, I think, uh, Maggie, um, were responsible for doing a whole load of compulsory staff training. Um, to, to bring the staff up to speed with, with all of this. It did raise a few issues, um, starting with a pre-pilot where we didn't have any of these integrations in place. It was just getting people used to using Moodle assignments. Um, and then handling offline activities. We started by just saying, well, get rid of all of the submission types. But then Coventry and Catalyst developed their barcode scanner, so we tested that, and we've had that in use since, uh, since about October. 
Um, overall, very positive. Um, the main benefit being the, the, there not being a requirement of hopping between the learning environment and student records to do your assessments. So it all came down to one front end. But we did have a few other fairly major issues that are still going on. Um, I know I've just been up to Roger's talk um, for what they did at Solent, and they had some of the similar ones. The data we get from central records, not the best. Um, practice doesn't always match policy. Dates are supposed to be in there before the beginning of a semester. Hmm. Yeah, practice does not always match policy. So the integrations were written based on the policy and then got adapted to try and match as many different variations of the practice as we can. Or to be honest, I've told staff that's not policy, so you can't have it. Um, we're still addressing some of those issues. <laughs> the accurate data and the policy one, that practice is ingrained. People have been doing it for four or five years. Getting them to change is not easy. Um, oh, there we go, I've run out of my, <laughs> I've caught up with myself. There should be another slide there, I think. There we go. Um, so what we're then doing, one of the bits of practice was um, some of our staff seem to have difficulty copying and pasting a link code. So they want a button to click that will insert the, the link code and things like that. We actually release the feedback to students, feedback and grades to students and to student records automatically after 20 working days. Um, so that's something we need to, to tweak a little bit. And a shameless plug, um, on my very last slide, anybody who's interested in using Moodle and Mahara, the Mahoodle for this year is being held at Gloucestershire. So if you want to register for it and come along and talk about anything to do with Moodle or Mahara, register on that site. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here till Wednesday if anybody wants to ask me anything that takes more than six minutes. Any questions? No? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so much.